uh, to access the door lock which is over here or the door lock is actuation is here and the motor is over here to activate this we have to remove this panel this panel is must to be removed to access that for that first we will have to remove this uh, lever for the window and for this purpose we are using a rag and put it underneath and just try it so the clip will be fallen off like this as it has so now we are going to remove this very easily and then afterwards what we have to do is we should have to remove these two panels this job is not difficult enough but people are hesitating actually because uh, they are thinking that it will be broken or something like that but it is not the case so it is very easily it is coming off gently have to put the screwdriver in don't make any scratch uh, here are the two uh, bolts you can see the two fasteners these we have to remove and another third one is over here underneath so these three we have to remove keep them in secure place so that they should not be loosened as this is normally the case with some people they are losing bolts and nuts and screws and then later on they are fixing some other which are not of the proper uh, make and size whatsoever so a little bit pry is required over here Need to pry it off it's already stained somebody before me made it ugly so I'm going to remove this bolt as well this is underneath this cover small cover by this way it come off now is the time to remove this uh, to pry off this whole panel so for this you have to put your hand underneath and gently pull it like this and making work up from the dome just pull it off pull it and pull it and something is there underneath inside yeah, some bolts are so by this way it will come off and gently pull it towards the like this it will come off so here is the motor as you can see here is this motor but unfortunately there is nothing connected you can see this is not connected with the lock or whatsoever and here are, here is the wiring the wiring is also not perfect as you can see all wires are hanging and there is no wiring going to the car or we will see inside maybe yeah I found it here is the wiring so the two wires which are uh, blue and uh, green of course these two these I will be using and the rest of the wires we will not use as they are not required in our case so I will do it by the way I will check first this one whether it is working or not but it seems to be broken to me this motor okay so how we are going to check it I have a 12 volt from the same car battery uh, this is the black which is negative and here is the positive which is red so I will uh, connect these to the two wires which is brown and green to check this motor so by this way as you can see it is retracting and from here to here it is going outward and here it is going if I'm reversing it is going in so this motor is not bad but it is old enough so what I'm going to do is I am replacing it with the same new motor so this one is new with me in the kit as well as I will introduce this uh, actuator from here to the lock inside so this is what is the work I have to do for the purpose I will have to remove the old motor so old motor removal is straightforward. you can see there is a metal bracket underneath two bolts two, uh, two screws they already have been connected somebody this is aftermarket this is not original so I'm going to remove these two screws and then by this way 
this thing will come off like this so what i will do is i will remove this bracket and will replace it to the new one then afterwards i will put it over here and we'll show you the later on after shot to put the wire link over here we have to remove this uh, this bracket this whole lock actuator from here for this purpose we have to pull it off over here and then pry, pry it and it will come off somewhere like this so here you can see the broken wire we have to remove it this is not needed and here is the original one we have to remove it from its position and remove it from the lock as well and then later on using my screwdriver i have to remove this part because we are going to elongate this hole for our purpose because our wire which we will be putting is a little bit thicker so that it should be accommodated inside there so for this purpose i will use my screwdriver to remove this piece so using my here is the no here is the hole which i am going to elongate because this wire is barely going in so then the other wire will not be there so then i have to elongate it a little bit so that there will be a place for the other wire and this wire as well i'll take care not to break it instead to elongate it inward as i'm using my kitchen knife for the purpose you can use any knife which is in your hand here is a must not to break it if i will break it down it will be a headache there is a way to solve that problem even but i'm not going to that extreme so just clean it off elongate the hole carefully so that it will not be broken or some mishap i'm not going to make so by this way as you can see now there is an enough space to put this wire as well as this one also so for the purpose what i will do is i will cut off this wire over here and make some arrangement over here to make some arrangement to make it adjustable for the purpose i am using my cutter we'll be doing like this and then later on i'll have to use my pliers to break it off somewhere like this then i have to make a hook to put it there in this particular actuator wire some way like this so this hook will be going there and will do its purpose but first we have to put it in the lock so the same way gently pry it in into its place as it is now another thing is we have to elongate this this place also which is originally for this one so we will elongate it a little bit so that both wires will be accommodated inside so we'll cut off some material to make place for the new wire So by this way, now you can see it's cut off. Enough space is there to work with, and by this way it will come in like this. So it will do like this. Then the same way, I have to put the original one, which is from the company. Like this, and put it in its place. So two, both have been come as you can see. Both have been come and 
they are working as well the same way so i will put the lock in its place and then make it in some way that this one should do its job just check it it's doing it needs a little bit of lubrication in all places so that the lock will be not too much tight as it is so i'm going to lubricate it it's a old system actually that's why it needs a little bit of lubrication so with the lubrication it will not need much force to do its job in a piece of rag you have to clean this system very very much dirty so the motor will do now i have to do one thing i have to put this motor over here same way as it is but the problem is we have to cut even more this wire so we will be cutting it over here somewhere first we will have to make the marking how much we have to cut we will cut the residue so it's enough over here so we have to cut it over here same way you will be cutting it over here and the later on what i will do is i will have to show you over this way it's cut off and now put the lock back and again same with the cable everything so putting the lock actuator the same way where it was 